This episode of Because Science is sponsored by Borderlands 3. Oh, good thing I have one of these, but what could possibly be inside this apparently magical bean that can instantly heal anime injuries? Let's get technical. Ah, the humble sensu bean. In the Dragon Ball Z-averse, this little legume grown by a talking cat that lives in the sky, hey, it's anime, has the amazing ability oh, to almost instantly heal extreme damage to both body and spirit bomb. I know that in DBZ, the sensu bean is more plot device than an actual product of a plant, but what might be inside an actual sensu bean? Let's hop on our Nimbus and figure it out. Oh, not dense enough! Okay, first, what properties does a sensu bean have? Broadly speaking, across the anime and the manga, eating one of these lima bean looking things has three main effects. The first is that it can heal grievous injuries, so we know that the sensu bean must have some wound healing properties. It also reinvigorates a fighter, so whatever is in the bean must affect metabolism in such a way as to increase fighting fitness. And lastly, a sensu bean can make it feel as though an injury or a defeat never happened, so there must be some kind of pain mitigation going on. And lastly, the bean is a bean, so what we're really looking for is some combination of plant properties that would fit the bill. A real vegetable, if you will. <laughs> oh. Grown and or cultivated with the intention of maintaining health or treating some condition like a ah, surprise anime laser, oh, a sensu bean oh, is best described as a medicinal plant. Oh, all right, okay. In 2002, the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization estimated that over 50,000 different plants were used for medicinal purposes across the planet. And so-called herbal and traditional medicines have used medicinal plants since humanity was a thing. And today, these make up a multi-billion dollar industry. In modern medicine, an estimated 25% of all drugs prescribed have been derived from medicinal plants directly. However, while these medicinal plants have been used all around the world by all sorts of people for a very long time, relatively few of them actually have rigorous scientific evidence to support their use as medicines. So while a sensu bean in real life could be some undescribed by science kakaroot, <laughs> we're instead gonna look for a plant or a combination of plant properties that has known Saiyan saving properties. Like every other living thing, plants have evolved ways to ensure they survive long enough to pass on their genetic material. However, surviving can be tough when you can't move. And so plants have evolved an array of phytochemicals, biologically active chemicals found in plants that are meant to deter would-be herbivores and stem slicers. Many of the chemicals you use day to day in your life are actually toxins, poisons, and otherwise nasty stuff meant to keep you from eating the plants that they came from. For example, both nicotine and quinine are toxic, bitter-tasting alkaloids meant to keep things from eating the plants they came from, but we use one of these, nicotine, to fuel the most dangerous consumer product in history, and we use quinine to treat malaria. There is a huge range in the effects of phytochemicals, so we need to find the correct chemistry with certain phytochemicals that add up to the correct sensu bean sensation. And, <laughs> And they are pretty good, by the way. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are no naturally occurring plants that can produce the same kind of rapid, miraculous effect that a sensu bean can. So we are gonna have to come up with some kind of fusion that works. Whose hand was it? What? If you were punched in the face for like 10 episodes in a row, Super Saiyan or not, you'd likely be in a lot of pain. And so our first sensu bean suggestion is a phytochemical with powerful pain relieving properties that you can find in one of these. 
Inside of the dried ooze of this opium poppy, you can find the chemical known as morphine, the main opiate in opium, considered to be the first active ingredient ever derived from a plant chemically all the way back in the early 1800s. Morphine works by binding to the neurons in your central nervous system and their receptors to quickly and effectively diminish the perception of pain. I feel pretty good. Still got a hand wound though. Morphine is the standard against which all other opiate pain relievers are tested, but it is addictive, and it doesn't work nearly as fast as sensu beans seem to, even when administered intravenously. However, morphine does come from the seeds of a plant, and it is extremely effective, so we're gonna put it in Corrin's chemistry here. Next, will we Kyle find another chemical? Oh, no. Will he get to pet that kitty's tiny tum-tum? Oh, I hope so. Will he ever get over his own hair. Hey, I don't... Find out next time on Because Science. You don't have to do this. We have more than enough material. Previously on Because Science, Kyle was... That's enough of that shonen nonsense, shown nonsense. Energy is another symptom that a sensu bean really has to provide because pain mitigation will not be enough if you are still totally exhausted after fighting some white and purple eggplant looking alien person for too long. That's why our next plant-derived chemical to place inside a sensu bean is caffeine, the single most consumed psychoactive drug on the planet. In the synapses of your neurons in your central nervous system where chemical messages are sent as you go about your day, a chemical called adenosine binds to receptors in these synapses. What caffeine does is block these adenosine receptors so that it can't cause drowsiness, which leads to the feeling of alertness that we get from caffeine. Caffeine in a bean, like a coffee bean or maybe a sensu bean, might help a fighter mm, snap back into the fight because caffeine is an adenosine antagonist, like Cell to Goku or one episode of Dragon Ball Z to plot development. Yeah, I said it. Not only might a caffeine-filled bean get a fighter's mind back in the game, it might help their body too. Caffeine is a proven ergogenic chemical, a substance that can enhance athletic performance. A number of studies over the years have shown that a moderate dose of caffeine can increase muscle strength and endurance and help with strenuous exercises like cycling and sprinting and perhaps even beating up space aliens. Caffeine is a performance enhancing drug that might take your power level from zero back up to well over, you know, I'm not saying it. You can't make me say it. Our last chemical constituent might be the most important though, especially with all those lasers and key blasts flying around. Humans will likely never be able to regenerate like cell here, and so a sensu bean, if it is healing grievous injuries, should have something in it to help in the process of wound healing. As we've explained before on this program, wound healing is one of the most complicated things that your body does. When you are cut, for example, multiple processes in your body spring into action in a fragile orchestra of repair and reconstruction that can take years years. There are four predictable stages in wound healing. The first is hemostasis, where platelets flood into the wound and clog everything up and stop all the bleeding. The second is inflammation, where more cellular resources are moved to the site of the injury and cellular debris that is damaged is cleaned out of the wound site. Finally, proliferation happens, where new cells are moved to the site of the wound to rebuild everything, and then remodeling happens, where finally the wound is closed and there's probably some scar tissue. An effective sensu bean would aid in any one of these cell sagas, which of course is the best saga. What? No, fight me, bro. I am right about that. There are many different medicinal plants that are used all over the world for wound healing. Some are validated by science, or at least partially, most are not. But the greater plantain is the most widely cited and available medicinal plant for the purpose of wound healing. And we know that humans have have been using this plant specifically for wound healing for literally thousands of years. Now the research here is kind of murky on this plant and admittedly hard to verify, but there does seem to be some evidence that the unique phytochemicals inside of the greater plantain helps with cell proliferation and therefore wound healing. 
If a sensu bean had some of the same polysaccharides and polyphenols and flavonoids in it that the greater plantain does, eating one of these might be able to help a fighter quickly heal cuts and burns and alien scissions. It's a word. What I am suggesting is that somewhere around here, a tiny talking kitty, either through magic or science, is genetically engineering sensu beans during their cultivation to have a very specific phytochemistry, a chemistry similar to morphine, caffeine, and the contents of the greater plantain. If Corin could isolate and amplify chemistry like this, the cat would indeed create the first real superfood. And they are tasty. I'll give them that. I'll give the cat that. They all take it. So, what's inside a magical sensu bean? Well, that's hard to say exactly because there is so much magic in the Dragon Ball Z universe, but we know that the plant has to provide some pain relieving properties and aid in wound healing and revitalize warriors. And our specific phytochemistry might be able to produce those kinds of effects. Look, putting all of these chemicals together into some fictional plant and giving them to a warrior and expecting them to totally revive them is a bit of a stretch, I know, but maybe Corrin can make it work. He is a master cultivator after all, and all the main characters in DBZ are named after vegetables. Because science. Nothing to do but to finish this last sensu bean uninterrupted. <laughs> oh! Of course, the real truth of the matter and the sticking point is that nothing we know of works as quickly as a sensu bean does, where you're on death's door and you, and you eat a bean and you're good to go. We have a metabolism. Just getting stuff into your bloodstream takes a while to affect your body. It takes around a minute just for a single blood cell to make the whole trip around your body. So even if you got the most powerful intravenous drug, it wouldn't affect you as quickly as a sensu bean. But in terms of suggestions, I, I do think we're kind of krilling it. <sighs> Thanks again to Borderlands 3 for sponsoring today's episode. The original shooter looter is back and bigger than ever with four all new Vault Hunters and over 1 billion guns. Literally, it's time to lock, load, and loot. Pre-order Borderlands 3 now so you can play it when it drops on Xbox One, PS4, or PC on September 13th. Let's make some mayhem. Thank you so much for watching, Josh. If you like this video, you will like some of our other Dragon Ball Z videos that we've done and gotten very geeky about on this here program. If you want to give me suggestions for future episodes or interact with us online, you can follow us here at these social media handles. Thanks.